So, so when you go to New Zealand initially, obviously, I don't know what, what the, the process of being brought in as a coach, obviously, you'd worked with Dan Carter, and I'm sure word had filtered back about your coaching style and that. When you go in, you know, do you go in with nervousness into an in, a new environment? Do you go in fully accepted by players, or do you have to win them over? Or no, how does it work down there? Because we hold them on, it's such, yeah. on such high esteem. Should we? And that's a big learning, too, I think. If you look at it now, there was, we were coached at national level by coaches that potentially didn't get out to see what world class is. So I felt playing them that they were probably sometimes better than the, what the reality is, which it's only by going down there that you, you know that. So now I probably have a fair gauge of what's needed or what's required or what the teams I'd be involved with need, you know? So, um, no, Brian's point, it's interesting in that regard. I think I got a lot of confidence in coaching Dan, Anthony Tutavaki, Casey, Rocco Coco, so four All Blacks in a racing team because, like, essentially, I was learning on the job there too. I lot, I, as you know, I, like, I watch a lot of rugby, so I like it, and but kind of came up with a few ideas, but, like, my guinea pigs are, are the, the racing first team, and unless there's buy-in, you've no chance. So it, the massive thing in Crusaders is, is connecting and caring, so that's, the f you know what I mean, the detail comes after that, so you have to connect with every single player, but it, it's really easy to connect, I think, if, um, if the guy has a good attitude, and that's what they're big on down there, attitude. What do you mean by caring? Caring, so we have an environment where we really care. So for example, and I was, got out to see a few other environments, and um, for anyone, uh, I think, to see what world class is, they could, if they can, they should go to meet Aidan O'Brien, the horse trainer, because that's a guy who cares. That's a guy who's world class. That's a guy who, who uh, has it down to the nth degree and what performance is about. So uh, that's a big thing for him is caring. So you, like, essentially, and it's a strength of what's been passed on from the likes of Woody to Monster teams, the, the, our massive difference was we cared because if you care, you get up a, cra a half a second, a quarter of a second faster than the opposition. But it doesn't tell 20 times. It'll tell maybe on the 78th minute of a game if you do it consistently multiplied by 15. So the environment that cares, genuinely cares, you can say you care, but do you really care? So how do you measure that? Some things you can't measure. Some things there's no stats for. So, uh, and that's, uh, I think what Brian has as captain, he cared. You know what I mean? He really cared, and that spread into, as you said, I was listening on the way up. It's not what you say. It's how you act, you know? And I think that's what they're good at. They back up their words, but their words are, are concise and they're uh, short. There's no general... Uh, rula bula, you know. It's how did that go? Okay, what are we doing this one? Okay. Does that suit you down to the ground? Depends what mood I'm in. <laughs> 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 nah. uh, 